Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric once again, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time checking us out. Look at these buses we got in stock. You can see those Prevo XL2 La Mirage. Oh, that little stainless silver-sided D102 uh, D3, that is a sweet coach. When you get a chance, check that baby out online. 1994, and that thing is in, I mean, it's a cream puff. I'll tell you what, red crystal down there. Yeah, anyways, so here we go. Coaches, motor coaches, doggone school buses, commercial buses, shuttle buses. I mean, we got buses coming out of our ears around here. So anyhow, let's get back to the bus that I want to tell you about right now. 1997 MCI 102 DL3. Obviously, it's got a wheelchair lift and I got it deployed there for you. This will accommodate up to two wheelchairs, 55 passengers. Let's cruise inside and check her out. All right. Here we go. There we go. Check out the step well entry treads right here. Looking pretty good. Dual entry grab bars. Got the radio up. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, I think that's chili peppers. Yeah, I better turn that down a little bit. Uh -huh, I can dig the peppers. All right, here we go. Driver's seat right here. It looks This looks like a Daggum Recaro driver's seat, if I'm not mistaken. Those are known for their comfort. Allison, automatic B. No, no, I take that back. I almost said B500, I believe. By the looks of that shift pad right there, it's an Allison HT740. Four speed. How about it, huh? I'm not, you know what? I, man, I hope I'm preaching gospel there. So, it, uh, if I'm, by the looks of that shift pad, it's HT740. So, anyhow, needless to say, I don't think it's the B500. So, anyways, tilt telescoping wheel, driver's seat upholstery, not too bad, showing a little bit of use right here. AM FM radio right there, REI video system, four TVs going through this baby as well. You can see the control panel over there. Driver and passenger heat and a CPA system. Uh, you know what? I don't see the mic. There's the PA system right down there, but I don't see the mic. Anyhow, so let's, uh, yeah, I think I pretty much named everything right there. Pull down sun shades for the driver's side windshields right here. The glass is looking pretty good. I am not seeing any daggum chips or cracks. Look at that. Check it out. Pull down sunshades there on the side. Driver modesty stanchion as well. All right, here we go. Uh, look at that. Enclosed overhead parcel racks. 102 DL3s are awesome coaches. These things are known for their dependability. One of the best coaches outside of the MC9. In my humble opinion, these are one of the best coaches MCI put out. So, reclining passenger seats with armrest and footrest. Uh, headrest also, you can see footrest down there. These two spots right here, these, these, uh, this is where the wheelchair, wheelchairs go right here. These seats fold up to accommodate up to two wheelchairs. So, big tour style windows with tent. You can see reading lights up there, AC and heater vents and what have you. All right, uh, rear emergency roof hatch right there. And a row of three in the back, which makes 55 passenger blue light special right here. All right, check out the restroom. Restroom in the rear. Got a couple grab handles in here. I'll tell you what, so you can really get down to business. <laughs> Anyways, uh, pardon me, that was out of line, goodness sakes. So, it, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, enclosed overhead parcel racks. Uh, all the passenger windows are looking good. Looking really good. So you can see the TVs here. Well, I got one that's kind of, you know what? I, you can see how these things blink on the camera, but as I look at them right here without the camera, they're not blinking like they are right now on the camera. But this one over here on the right, it's kind of on the fritz. It's got some issues. So again, we can get that taken care of if you are concerned. Check out the overhead parcel racks. A lot of storage in these babies inside and out. So, uh, yeah, I got this one open up here. Here's where the DVD system is. DVD player right up there. And let's walk around it outside of Tish. Give you a visual of the outside. Here we go. Close the door. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, look at that. There you go. Good, good tire tread there on the passenger front. I'm going to also open up some of these luggage bays right here. Oh my goodness, there's that friggin' buzzer. Woo, look at that. Shut it down. 
Well, that's the storage here. Goodness sakes, we gotta button that thing up. I can't listen to that too much longer. That buzzer's yapping because I got the doggone wheelchair lift deployed right here. And uh, let me assure you, let's give it a quick little demo right here. There we go. <laughs> I gotta kick it. Oh, goodness sakes, that is embarrassing. Give it a little love tap there and she goes in. So anyhow, look at that, as you can tell. Cassette style, Rikon wheelchair lift. And seems to function okay. There we go. Yes. All right. And the door opens up to get inside right there. Uh, fuel door right here, 192 gallon capacity. Ultra low sulfur diesel. Blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt system right here. A couple of 8Ds down inside the battery box. And let's open up this one right here. Still a lot of storage. You are missing out on one full bay right here due to the ADA lift. But I still think it's got a pile of storage. So, uh, tire tread there on the driver's side, rear duals. Showing a good amount of tread there. Let's look at the end of carriage a bit here as we go on down. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What do we got going there? Right. Can you see it? I hope so. Just trying to represent the bus as accurately as I can. Tag axle tire tread fair right there. for a California bus because you know how fussy the Californians are about their emissions and all that stuff. So, also Detroit Diesel, I believe this is the Series 60 and I believe also it is a reliable engine by Detroit and I say that only because on the top of the valve cover, let me zoom in, I hope you can hear me okay, that sticker right there, it's not real legible but that leads me to believe that is the reliable. See that? If you look closely, you can see where it says this engine was rebuilt by Detroit Diesel. So, it, uh, I do not know the mileage on the rebuild, though. I know the dash. I should have pointed out to you. The odometer says like 500 and some change. So, but anyhow, I'm not sure when the re reliable uh, was redone. So. Or, or when the reliability was done. Anyways, uh, maybe that's something I can check in for you. So the body and paint's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing any corrosion. Hardly no rust anywhere throughout the exterior of the coach. You know, the typical, as I've said a million times, some minor dings and scratches and what have you. You can see right there, the tire tread there. And the tag axle. Oh, goodness sakes, what the? So I'm to get... Joey! That gummit. That is embarrassing. Don't, don't sweat that tag axle. We're going to get that taken care of. So, as I've mentioned before, you know, our shop is backed up right now. So we're just trying to get these babies online. I want all of our customers to see how extensive an inventory we have. Good tire tread there on the driver's side front as well. I am terribly sorry about that tag axle. That just looks awful. So, but... Don't worry, we can get her dialed in. So, uh, I think I've rambled on enough about this DL3, but I do love DL3s, D4500s, D4505s with that cat eye for an end. Oh, I can't get enough. I love those things. They look tip top. Cannot go wrong with a D coach. So, uh, I think I've, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, rambled on enough about this coach. I think that'll do it. 1997 MCI 102 DL3 ADA lift, two wheelchair capacity, 55 passengers. Check us out online, nwbus.com. Please give us a call with any questions. 800-231-7099. Thanks.